So how do you set up a business from scratch and earn six figures? I'm gonna share with you how I've done that twice since 2016. By the end of this video, you will be inspired, you will hear my top tips, and you will realize that this can also be a possibility for you. I'm Ruth Kudzi, the founder of Ruth Kudzi Coaching. I transformed my life and my business, and I'm passionate about helping others do the same. I used to work in corporate. I worked in recruitment, in sales, and in education. And in 2016, I started my business. So how did I go from a business startup to somebody who's generated over a million pounds in four and a half years? I could lie and say it was easy. It wasn't, but I'm gonna take you on my journey. I used to work as a deputy head teacher and an assistant head teacher in large secondary schools, which meant that I used to leave the house at between six and 6.30, and I used to get home probably between 6.30 and 7-ish. I couldn't have any downtime because not only were the students looking to me, but the staff were. I was pretty much in a constant state of stress. So before I met my husband when I was single, I used to probably have McDonald's twice a week. I used to eat Greg's bacon sandwiches for breakfast. I used to literally just work during the week and as soon as Friday hit, I would start drinking wine till Sunday night and then I'll be back to work. That was it. I knew that I didn't want to stay as a senior leader in a secondary school forever and I knew that ironically it wasn't going to work around my daughter but I didn't really know how I could make it work outside. I didn't know much, probably anything about the online world. I wasn't really on social media. I had a Facebook account but I wasn't on LinkedIn. I wasn't on Instagram and I didn't really use YouTube either. I was pretty much a bit of a dinosaur. From September 2014, when I was on maternity leave for my first daughter, I did bits of coaching. So I coached people that I knew, I was doing some leadership coaching, I was doing some business coaching, but get this, I wasn't charging. I went back to work in July of 2015, and I realized that I didn't want to stay. And my big crunch point was September of that year when I didn't see my daughter on her first birthday when she was awake. And I thought, what the hell am I doing? I'm working, and even though I was earning a decent salary, so much of that salary was going on childcare, and I wasn't seeing my daughter. And I thought, this isn't FOMO. I don't want to miss out anymore. It wasn't until April 2016 that I got out of my own way and I sent some emails, and those emails were the start of my business. I went to my friends, I went to my network, probably about 10 people, and I literally sent an email saying, this is what I'm doing, do you know anyone who might want a coach? And that's when I got my first paying clients. In August of that year, August 2016, I went onto Facebook and I started my own Facebook group. I got an opt-in, I got a freebie, and I started getting people who had no connection with me into this group. Originally, it was a group that focused on career change for mums. So it was confidence coaching and career coaching, two things that I thought I could really help people with. And that's how it started. Come to November that year, I would had the realization that my time was finite. And if I really wanted to grow and scale, I needed to look at a course. So I developed two courses in November that year. A startup business course that used all of my experience as a former business studies teacher, somebody who'd studied business and started businesses before and had already got a successful coaching business and a mindset course. The startup business course sold, the mindset one didn't and that was a valuable lesson to really tune into what your audience want and need and give them that. I actually remember Black Friday being on the street in London Bridge looking at my phone and realizing that I'd earned the equivalent of my monthly salary that month. And that was, the, that was where I wanted to be. I actually went above my monthly salary. And that was the moment that I realized that I could resign. So I went into my old work and I handed in my resignation. In June 2017, everything changed. That was the first month that I started earning consistent 10K months. And I haven't looked back. I haven't gone below that ever since June 2017. And it was also when I launched my first group program, which became my signature program for about two years. 
It was initially called Employee to Entrepreneur and it then became Accelerate Your Success. So I was then full-time in my business and being full-time in my business, my mindset changed. My business generates at least 10K in revenue every single month. Biggest months of being close to over 70K and it's growing. So how do I make that happen? From the beginning, I had a mentor or coach, somebody who was ahead of me, someone who could show me how to do things, someone who I could learn from. And often those lessons were not that I was doing something completely like them, but I was doing it in my way. And it's something that I love. I love coaching, I love teaching people the skills, I love helping other people get that insight. Team is another thing that's made a big difference for me. So since January 26, 2017, I've had other people in my team. I've had VAs, I've had um, social media managers. And honestly, this is probably my biggest lesson. I hired people because I liked them. I hired my best friend. She was on a salary with me and worked with me for about 18 months. Love her. But I didn't hire her for the, her skills. And it was a huge learning. It was great to work alongside my best friend. Business-wise, probably I could have made a better decision to have people with the right skill sets. I gave her the impossible job. Luckily, we stayed friends because she didn't have all of those skill sets and she wasn't playing to her strengths. Her strengths were customer service and people, but she was having to do other bits because I wasn't yet in a position to get her just to focus on that. So a huge learning there is hire the right people with the right skill sets. And often that will be hiring people to do a little bit for you. Like I have a designer, she does 10 hours a month. I have a podcast editor and that's all she does. Um, so having those people do those sp specific things really, really helps. And that was my big learning. It's an idea that as an entrepreneur, we want to clone ourselves. And I was hoping that I could, but actually nobody else is gonna be as invested in your business as you are. So get people who are really good at what they do so you can focus on what you're really good at. And now, four and a half years in, that is exactly what I've done. So what has helped me continually grow? Support. Support from coaches and mentors and peers. So lots of the people that I call friends now, especially in the online space, are either people that I've worked with or people that I've met on programs or people that I've met at events. And actually, it's, it's funny because people think that the industry is really backbiting, but it's not, it's super supportive. So having that network of people is really important. Having people that you can be like, oh, this happened or what would you do about this? That's been huge. You don't have to do it on your own. Now I choose my hours, which means I can drop off and pick up my kids. I don't do it every day. I probably do it about 70% of the week, which is perfect. So I can drop them off and pick them up. I can have time with them in the mornings and in the evenings. I can put them to bed. I have a similar amount of holidays and actually I can switch off more. I am able to work on my terms. I can go to the gym during the day. Seriously, it sounds like a small thing, but I was never able to do that when I was a teacher. I can choose my hours. I can go to all of the things at my kids' schools. I can be there to support them. I can be there to support my family as well if I need to. I have more freedom, more flexibility, and more financial success. My life is completely different, and people always expect that as an entrepreneur, you, you work more hours. Honestly, I work less. I work less than I used to work. When I say I was out of the house from six, let's say 12 hours a day, five days a week, maybe we left a little bit early on Fridays. There was no flexibility there. Equally, I would always be doing work one day at the weekends. Now, I might pop into social a bit or I might get some ideas and do some podcast recordings, but I don't need to work. I had deadlines hanging over my head the whole time. Now I feel free, I feel different, I feel lighter, I feel like I've got more energy and I feel like I've got more purpose. Now I feel like I'm making a difference on at people at every level, my books, and hopefully when you watch this, I will be a step further to creating something that I want to create 
in Ghana, which is going to be helping women access entrepreneurship and coaching. Am I happier? Yes. Do I have to drink wine on a Friday night? No. Occasionally I do, but it's I've got a completely different mindset. And everyone notices, my family, my friends, my husband, I have changed and that change has been positive. So I'm gonna leave the next video over here. I would like you to like, subscribe and remember to ring that bell so you'll be notified on my next video. See you over here.